It's been about two months since we played some bit life. You know, I even busted off the shirt today. Why? Because we're playing bit life. We're playing bit life. Heck yeah. But we're going to add a, a bit of a twist. It's going to be a little different. And by a little bit, it's going to be completely different. You guys have requested for me to do this for a long time. I don't even know if this is going to be a good video. It's going to be a great video. You freaking smash like right now. My bit life is going to control my Sakura School Simulator. This is gonna go great. And in case you don't know, BitLife is a life simulator. If you don't, if you're living under a rock, you don't know a BitLife, maybe you've never- Hi! Welcome, you're new here. BitLife is a great life simulator, and Sakura School Simulator is- <laughs> Sort of like a life simulator. This is gonna go great. It's kind of- it's gonna be good. I thought this was a great time since, uh, as you guys know from last time we played Sakura School Simulator, babies no, were added God, to the game, so no. this is absolutely the perfect opportunity to, to finally do this challenge that you guys have been asking for for a long time. Alright, we're just gonna pick a random life, okay? I'm Lorenzo! Okay, life simulator, for the last time, you gotta stop. I'm Lorenzo Tot. I was a male born in Turin, Italy. I don't even know where that is. I was conceived after my father's condor broke. Poor bird. Now, it's important that we create our parents before we create the child. So, let's see what our parents look like. Ooh, man, my dad looking like a cool cat. Alessandro Totti. And then we have my mom, Aro Rofazio. All right, I'm gonna have to make her as close as I can to this. <laughs> my mom, Aurora, obviously has a ponytail, so we need to find a ponytail. I really hope they got one. I need this to go good for me. We can't do it with another mess up. I've already messed up once. I had to restart the whole thing. Well, technically she has a ponytail, but that's not. You know, we're just gonna have to roll with the punches here. All right, she has brown hair. She's smiling. <laughs> she's not wearing a face mask, so we had to take that off. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. You know, that works. Look, look at she's already preggers. Look at that. It's perfect. But no, no, no. We have to create. <laughs> we have to recreate the scenes. I mean, that sounds really bad. They have these costumes in Italy, right? I'm sure. I'm sure they do. All right, my dad's got a cool hat, so I really hope we have that. I really hope we have it. I need this to work. And there we go. He's got like his pimp hat right here. You know, close enough, man. I like this. <laughs> Look at this. I can't change the color, so we're just gonna have to deal with it, okay? There's limitations here. Gotta give him some cool shades. There he is. <laughs> it looks like if Dr. Eggman got a questionable job on the streets. Eggman is in a different business now. <laughs> All right, pretend we're in Italy. We're not in Japan. It's Italy. It's Italy. Now we're gonna there's gonna be a little bit of creativity here, okay? You're gonna bear with me. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm looking for a girl, a nice girl out there. Oh god! <laughs> oh yeah! Why do I sound like the Kool-Aid man? Hey, what happened to her text? I sent her text! Oh, I gotta fix it. <laughs> she won't stop. Hey, <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> uh, if only I could find a man that looks like Dr. Eggman. Well, 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 well. But you need to stop. <laughs> I knew as soon as I laid eyes on her jumping head, it was love at first sight. Wait, these aren't Italian people at all. I don't know how to- <laughs> You work for me now. Uh, I tried to kiss her. She said no thank you. This is not a good love story. All right, you gotta talk to her like one time. You have good taste. How does your neck do that? It's actually scaring me. Please stop. I find you very attractive. Ah, she likes it. Oh, look, they're falling in love already. This has been a great story already. See, that's a good sign. She's saying hello. Look at that. We already, we already a couple, man. This is gonna work out so good. Oh, I better turn the police off. It's gonna be bad if we don't. Trust me. All right, we need to get her to fall in love with this because this needs to be canon. It needs to be perfect. Your face is made up like a cake. <laughs> no, that would make her hate us. That, that apparently is the ultimate insult. You just tell that your worst enemy. I respect you. Dang, look at this dude pulling all the moves right now. Oh no, I tried to kiss her. She's now saying, when we are close, it is not time. I just have to give her more compliments. That's how it works. It's like, you're one compliment away from being able to kiss your loved one. Yeah. If you just do this in real life, you'll get the girls and the guys. Trust me, this works. Don't tell her she has short legs. She won't like that. All right, I think it's time to break out the big guns, guys. All right, well, now that we got the big guns, now it's time to put on the moves. Ah, see? Hey, yeah, you like that? Oh. Oh yeah, I'm very flexible. <laughs> you can see this is really working. Oh yeah, that'll that'll get him. That'll get him every time. This is extremely uncomfortable. But little do you know, this is actually what sparked a baby. Yes. I was so nervous to tell her that I'm actually a Beyblade in real life. This is my true form. Oh my god. I don't. I think I'm some sort of helicopter. Hey baby, why don't we take this uh, somewhere else? Maybe go back to my place. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. This is the romance. They went in the room and it was all history. 
And when they wake up, they'll have a stork. There we go. <laughs> hey, I'm a baby. Well, you know what they say, right? Like father, like son. How does he walk around like that? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We've encountered some technical difficulties, but just pretend, all right? Imagination. Pretend that I'm Lorenzo Tati. That's my name. Oh my God, his baby's got a jetpack. And this is now my dad. <laughs> That's my dad. He's still a, a pimp, kind of like a witch, but I... That's my dad. Wow, I'm a baby now. You know, you know, I didn't really think all this through, okay? But that's fine. See, this is, I, not only are we playing these episodes, we have enjoyable life lessons that are valuable that you can take with you out of this video. Like, when life gives you lemons, give, give it lemonade. Wow, your condors broke. I, I this is a happy family. <laughs> Action, don't build. Can I actually do something? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Bro, that's a strong baby. I'm the strongest baby ever. So now that we did that, you know, I, I wanted to make myself bald. I couldn't. Again, rolling with the punches. And we have a beautiful dog named Lulu. See? There it is. There's Lulu. <laughs> she just attacks me. Arr! Oh, crap. I'm supposed to have an older brother named Christopher. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, yo, I'm Christopher, your, your older, your older brother. Oh God, oh God, what's happening? Hi, this is what you say. Hi, family. <laughs> hey, talk to me when you call it mom. Look, this is my bit family. It's absolutely, it's as actually perfect. I don't know why, mo where's mom? Mom, come here, mom. Hey, here's mom, where's my son? <laughs> Where did he go off to? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's pregnant! This is a very weird family. I have something to tell you, honey. This was supposed to be what she looked like then when she had the baby. She still has her stomach. Okay, I gotta fix that. It's fine if things are not in the perfect order, guys. See, rolling with the punches. See, ah, ah, this is a happy family. So our mother is a student. So that's why she's a, st a student and he's... It's a great, it's a great family. I mean, just take a family picture right now. All right, about after one million years, it's time to age up. Age two, toying around. You're at home lying inside your crib. Luckily, there are a few things nearby to keep you occupied. Which will you reach for? The fire truck, the xylophone, and the picture book. I think we'll pick the fire truck. Oh, and my big brother has been diagnosed with whooping cough. Um, my mother graduated from business school. She started a new position as history teacher for Turin Public Schools. All right, well, we gotta do what it says. Oh God, what have I done? Oh my God, there's something else wrong with my brother. <laughs> He's got more than some whooping cough. <laughs> He's stuck. Oh God, I've never done this before. Whoa, whoa, hey, what are you doing? What is this? I am truly worried about my big brother and his condition. He's stuck. Hey, talk to me when you got all- <laughs> I feel very bad for my brother. I hope he'll be okay. All right, mommy's gotta put you in your crib, okay? Too heavy to carry. Oh my god, it still takes up carrying him. I've, I've managed to ruin the game already. Oh, I carried my brother! <laughs> I carried him! Oh, come on, chat. Look at him. We're all walking as a family. This is great. Oh, I love this. All right, we gotta put our little baby in the crib. Wah! Wah! I want my fire truck. The game said to play with the fire truck, so here we are! Wah! This, see, this is the toy I pick. <laughs> Man, I got the best childhood ever. Look at this. I don't even know how I'm using my arms. The game said to play with the fire truck. Oh, there's dad. Hey, tell me when you got whatever thing you got. <laughs> I don't think he says that. Wah! I don't know why this fire truck doesn't play sirens, but okay. Wah! <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure this is what BitLife had in mind. I'm sure. I'm playing. This is so fun. Oh, I just, I just murdered somebody. Hey, talk to me when you got them all. Wow, what an eventful year, huh? H2, oh, vaccination. You gotta go to the doctor. Okay. Your mother is taking you to the doctor's office to get vaccinated. How will you behave? I'll try to stay calm. Please vaccinate my baby. I'm skeeving off work because it's boring. I don't care. Please vaccinate my child. Oh, look, my dad's here. See, look, he's a great dad. Hey, talk to me when you got him all. <laughs> Heal my baby. I don't have enough money. Oh, I don't have enough money for this. Health insurance in Italy is so high, apparently. I don't know if that's true or not. I, your eyes, I'm just gonna tell him. I'm gonna give him compliments until he gives me the vaccination. Here, let's hug him. <laughs> See, I've gained his trust. Now he'll give us free vaccinations. 
Don't mind that my husband's right there. Oh, look, he's throwing a tantrum. Wow, look, he's even got tears and everything. He obviously did not take that. Hello. <laughs> he obviously didn't take the vaccination very well, as you can plainly see. The doctor looks just like, he's like, that's despicable. <laughs> oh, no, it said, oh, God, it said I remain calm. Oh, no, I'm breaking from the, from the story. All right, I can fix that. Are we good? We good? We're not going to get through all these. Okay. Oh, my father retired. Oh, my God. Your big, you and your big brother, Christopher, are bickering about why he wore your clothes. Uh, I'm three years old now, so I don't think I should look like this anymore. Ooh, I'm going to attack. Oh, my God. Look at that. It actually looks like him, doesn't it? That's crazy. Attack him. Right hook. I, I right hook his face. You delivered a right hook to your big brother, Christopher's face. Okay. Wow. Oh, no, I hit my mom. <laughs> hey, stop it. <laughs> what? You want some of this? Huh? Oh, he's clearly getting angry with me. No, I need to come back in a different form. I'm mad about getting vaccinated. Whoa, I grew up too fast. Uh, let me take a shower. <laughs> oh, son, I didn't know you grew up so fast. Dad, some privacy. All right, this is more like it. This is more like a three-year-old, right? I don't know. Something like that. All right, I'm going to get on his level. What'd you say to me? Huh? What'd you say to me? Take that, you delivered a right hook to your big brother Christopher's face. And that I did. Oh, he attacked you with a scythe! Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have a scythe. I do have a slingshot. Hey, talk to me when you got them all. <laughs> oh! No! I just killed my family! Oh, could it? <laughs> it's attacking me! Oh, why is he so fast? I, it was a mistake to give him a jetpack! Uh, <laughs> he's right on my tail! Holy crap! Okay, okay, all right, all right. No, 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 this didn't happen. I didn't think it would explode when I threw a slingshot at my brother's face and my baby brother's face. Okay, all right, we can fix this. We gotta reunite this family again. Oh, look at him go, he's still attacking! Oh, <laughs> and he can't even fight back either. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, oh, dad is- dad- oh my god. Dad went to the store. I don't think he's coming back. Did my dad go to jail? He probably went to jail. Oh god, this is not what is happening in BitLife. You're just gonna have to ignore it, guys. See, we're rolling with the punches here. Okay, so problem, I can't find my dad. Or my husband. We're just a co you know, we're just a family that has a jetpack. It's fine. No, stop it. Stop it. Oh my god, he's acting out. Was this still about the vaccination? Who do you think I am? <laughs> that was attacking me. You do not attack your mother. How dare you after everything I've done for you? <laughs> he's so angry. What a very, very angry baby. Your parents just had a baby boy named Luciana. I can't. It's impossible. It's physically impossible. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I don't think I can do it, guys. Okay, yep. So I found out it's physically impossible to have a little brother. Another little brother. Let's well, pretend he doesn't exist. So my father is no longer suffering from arthritis wherever he is. That's really good to hear. Uh, but I have enrolled in primary school at St. Sergio's Primary School, an all-boys school. Wow. Okay. Yay, I'm at school. This is where I'm enrolling. I'm going there myself. <laughs> Apparently. Oh my god, what happens if I stand in here? I'm actually scared. What happens? Oh. <laughs> I've go oh god, I've used the reverse. I think I've used the time machine, guys. I am now a even smaller baby. But it is an all-boy school, even though these boys are actually small men in, in their Yakuza, but we're not gonna talk about that. I mean, I guess I'm a questionable looking child as well. See you! You're my best friend. Oh no, my dog died. She lived a great life, but sadly passed away peacefully last night. That's so sad, Lulu, no. I'm sorry, you're dead now, dog. <laughs> this game is ridiculous as crap. I'm gonna have to put you down. I'm sorry about this. Oh, he still seems so happy. He doesn't seem very dead, but apparently he is. I can't help it, he's dead! I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to go put him where he's better off. Where he's better off without, you know, an afterlife. Oh, this is so sad. This is so, so very sad. This is so sad. <laughs> ah! Oh, I got to see him one more time! Ah! Wow! This is crazy! He's in a better place now. All right, so now I'm 12 years old. You know, I had to fast forward a little bit or else we'll never get through this episode, guys. And I have an inappropriate teacher. Your history teacher, Mrs. Tolchi, said, just said, who is this new student? After you speak in class for the first time in ages, what will you do? Well, obviously we need to uh, attack her, okay? I'm about to stretch her lip. Oh, but I missed. I guess this is an elementary school too. Don't worry about it. 
It's a kindergarten slash elementary school. Uh, yes, I have a mustache at 12 years old. My family has very uh, interesting genes. Oh, what the heck? My teacher's gone. Where'd my teacher go? My teacher was here. Well, I gotta punch somebody. Take it. My teacher was here. She must have known. She must have known it was coming. Well, so much for that. Oh, no, I got expelled. <laughs> You've been expelled from middle school for disciplinary issues. Doesn't matter. Teachers weren't even there anyway. Your father is arguing with you because you were expelled from school. Oh, no. I don't even know where he's at. Did he call me? They, they put me back in. Oh, but now I'm in a private school. Okay, sure. Oh, Emma's asking us out. Okay. This actually worked. Holy crap. <laughs> we are now star-crossed scholars. <laughs> you are now going out with your classmate, Emma Pavarotti. Go ahead, drink the love potion. Drink it. <laughs> I love you. See? It worked. Oh, my God. We're going out now. She couldn't. I, I don't know why I'm barefoot still. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hopefully we can keep her. No, she wants to break up already. I haven't even done anything. <laughs> Beg her to stay, please. She decided to stay with me. Oh my God. Okay. I got to give her a compliment. All right. You have good taste. Thank you. She also liked it. See, it's exactly the same, guys. It's exactly the same. She called me the boss of it all. I am the boss of it all. No! <laughs> Why? We have such a good relationship. I don't get it. She doesn't look like she hates us. Yeah, okay, so now now because we're like older, like, see, we're, we're, we're bigger now. I'm still in pajamas. Don't worry about it. No, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Okay, uh, attack her. Oh my God. Well, I mean, kind of getting mad. <laughs> That's it. We're attacking her. I'm going to kick her face. You try to kick your girlfriend, Emma, but miss. Oh, I missed. Oh, yeah, she broke up with me. Bye-bye. We're broken up now. Bye. Go on, go. <laughs> the last thing she ever said to me was, I want to eat some beef wellington. As she ran away off into the distance, I never saw her again. She was my first love. You know, those relationships really get you, you know? No, my father is suffering from bowel inc- I still don't know where he's at, but apparently he's suffering from bowel incontinence. I hope he's okay. Oh, but I graduated from secondary school, okay? Yes, I still have my crib here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I just graduated. I don't have a graduation gown because they, they don't- I don't know if they do them in Japan and Italy. Yes. We graduated. Yay. I'm never coming back here. Screw you, school. Probably shouldn't have done that. Taking off your shirt, you notice some welts on your body. What will you do? Bruh, the only welts I see are these freaking bulging six-pack muscles. That's the welts I got. I will pray about it, though. <laughs> All right, no, I'm not. Let's take some time off. We're not going to go to university, okay? <gasps> My dad died! Wherever he's at! Since he wasn't with me, I'm gonna skip it all together. Look at I'm clearly sad about it. That's why I'm crying. I'm crying and... About my dad. I don't know where he was, but he died. I, I, I felt it. I just sensed it. That's why I'm crying. This is very sad. You know how they do in animes where they can, like, sense things? That's it. I couldn't be bothered to plan or attend his funeral. <laughs> Your mother's pressuring you to get a job. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> he obviously didn't like that I was pressuring him to get a job. What the heck? That was the scariest thing I've ever saw in my life. Is he joking with that samurai sword? <laughs> Don't attack your big brother like that. <laughs> he has like these bulky muscles and he's all tall. Wow, no. Kids, stop fighting. He's so scared. I don't blame him. This is... This is some a family dispute. You know, as their mother, I gotta put them both down. Okay? I gotta put them down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do this. I'm stealing your dad's car. I'm sorry, son! <laughs> Stop it. He's already dead. I brought you into this world and I took you out. Okay. Oh, my, oh no. My other son's... No, he's alive. Never mind. He's good. I gotta go put you back where the dog is now. I'm so sorry. This is a really messed up family. <laughs> this is awful, man. <laughs> What am I doing? I don't think he can really be saved. He's already dead. Oh, sorry about that, honey. You're in a better place now. Oh, wait, the heck? I thought I'd keep going. You're in a better place now. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's on the feet. Oh my God, his head's gone. And that, my friends, was the most broken family you've ever seen in your life. Today's scrub of the day goes to... Fan with Blades. You know, I thought my bit life was gonna control my soccer or school simulator, but really, it was soccer or school simulator that was in control all along. We had some technical difficulties, but either way, guys, if you enjoyed this, please smash like, and I might do another one if you guys really want to see it. Uh, this was hilarious. Uh, this this gave me some good laughs. Anyway, guys, subscribe!
Become scrub a day. Scrub a. I'll just go now. Bye, guys.